Hello viewers, welcome to QTP functional testing videos. Myself Udai. In my previous video, working with data tables part 1, where I have covered how to retrieve a value from a data, uh, data table, how to write a value into a data table, and how to import data from an external file to data table and how to export the data from data table to an external excel file and how we can work uh, with excel as a data table or data table as an excel file okay and the general guidelines that we need to follow in order to work with data tables these are the concepts i covered in my previous video in this video I would like to cover one of the um, uh, run setting option called run on all rows which I almost touched in my previous video and uh, there is an, another concept called data driver which we can use to parameterize our tests okay let's get started like uh, I will be following uh, in for this video I will be uh, demonstrating two examples the first one is to for run on all rows okay and the second in the second example I will be covering the functionality of the data driver okay so for the first example I will be following the same example which I covered in my previous video okay so what I am trying to say here is uh, I will be taking two input input one and input two and some val I will be configuring all these values in my data table ok I will be giving some random test data okay so as it, as with my previous example i have input one and input two i want to sum up these two values and put it in my third parameter right so in my previous example what i did is I choose an option called file setting in run tab I choose run one iteration only what it will say is uh, whatever the script is there in my action will be executed once okay in that example what I did is I put a for loop to iterate through each individual row of data right but in this example I will choose run on all rows okay so by default what it will do is for each iteration for example see in my data table now there are five records right for each iteration it will iterate through each individual row automatically we need not to create uh, we need not to put any for loop or anything like that okay let me demonstrate you about that so what I'm uh, here we can directly put a statement like below data table dot value okay I want the sum of these two values here right so I want to put the value here equal to data table dot value what is the param you can either specify the parameter id or we can specify the parameter name okay and my data is a, is in first sheet because it's in a global sheet the sheet id is one okay plus data table dot value second parameter and sheet id is one as I demonstrated you in my previous example, we need because the return value is of string type, we need to typecast it to integer type, right? 
see in in the same way and it is type test for the first parameter as well okay that's it this line of code is sufficient if you choose that option okay so what internally it will do is the same line of code will be executed five times and it is capable of for each iteration it will pick a different test data let's see let's debug it did you guys see this i didn't uh, i'm just debugging it in the first iteration it picked the value three here seven here and put the sum of these two values in my third parameter right did you guys say this? That's it. So as you can see in my run data table, the sum is calculated in and put it in my third parameter. In the run in in the C here in the test iteration, what it all the iterations got passed. So for each iteration, it will pick a test data from this row number. What I mean to say here is for the first iteration it will take the first row, second iteration it is it will take this row data and put the sum and put it in the third parameter. Okay. Um, so okay. So how can you set uh, where exactly you need to set this option? You can set this option directly using file setting. Okay and tab and choose run on all those options okay or else you can view go to test flow okay you just select the action where this statement lies right right click on it and click on action call property in the run tab you can see here also you can configure this option okay or else where I will, you can also click on keyword view choose action and call one second sorry go to test flow right click on an action where it contains the, the statement use action call properties here also you can set this configuration Okay, and QTP runs one iteration for each row of data. So for each iteration, it will pick a different row. Okay, so that's all in my first example, and we will jump into the second example. Second concept called data driver. So what we are doing. Um, many people might use this data driver concept or few people may not be using this concept okay but what we can do is whenever we perform an operation right uh, like um, what I'm trying to say here is we will be generating the script right where we, even you, you might be recording a script okay where you you may need to replace a constant you may need to parameterize that single value with multiple test data so uh, let me let me demonstrate you about that so what i'm trying to do here is uh, it, uh, sample application you just click on for this demonstration uh, demonstration I am using flight reservation application okay you log into flight reservation application okay once it is up I just record one test case so for that test case what I, I will do is I just click on file open order I will give the order number okay so record this session 
make sure it has the right configuration. I'm just clicking on open order. Once the open order dialog comes up, choose the checkbox and say, I would like to open order number five. Okay. So what I want to do here now is, see, I opened an flight reservation order with five, but I want to parameterize with the different order number, right? So for that, what I will do is I will put a parameter called order number where I will give my different order number, say two, eight, one, five, four, like that. Okay. Now we can replace this constant with this parameter. Right? For each iteration, it needs to pick a different order number. Whenever you have a script like this and you know, when you are dealing with different objects and parameters where it, it, it have a concept value, then we can use data driver concept. Okay. So in order to use data driver functionality, you just need to click on tool, choose data driver. So by default, it will show you what are the constants and different operations and all in a in this dialog box okay so what you can do is you need to at this moment we need to replace this five with this order number right so for that reason i choose five and click on parameterize so in this dialog you just choose either of these two options okay if it is a step by step parameterization it will uh, it's like Two, three scripts will come. If you directly want to parameterize, you just parameterize all. Just click on this icon and choose order number. That's it. Okay. If you want to go step by step, choose this option. Click next. Okay. It will show you which of which object is having that value. Okay. Where you need to parameterize. You just click on data table and give the order number. That's it. Next, finish. Okay, click on OK here. Let's see how it will. Okay, just run it. So before running it, I would like to make sure this option is set run on all those. Okay. So now once you run this, did you guys see two eight one five four? These are the order numbers that we configured, right? You can see it in here as well. In the test results also. What are the orders it opened? It is with, it opened with two. And it opened with eight. Like that, whatever the values that we configured in our data, uh, data table, it will read that values from the data table and Open the order number. Did you guys observe one point here? Earlier it is set with a constant call like set 5, but now that statement automatically replaced with a data table of order number into the, this parameter and DT global fit. You can either specify this constant or you can put a sheet ID or whatever it is. Okay, like that it will. Uh, for each iteration, it will iterate through each order number. Okay. With the data driver, we can parameterize any constant in an action or any property values for test objects or checkpoints. Okay. You cannot use data driver to parameterize the values of arguments for user different functions or VB script functions. These are the general two points that we need to follow when we are using data driver. Right. That's all in this video. Okay, please leave your comment about this video. Thanks for watching.